Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Brother Muhammad for all once again. I am here to talk about Sina, some of the benefits of the Sina and how to prepare it to use it, inshallah. So we're going to talk about the Sina leaves, the Sina powder. So you can see there is the leaves that is grinded to make it into a powder form. So if you have the leaves as well, inshallah, no problem. Same for those who also have in the powder. So inshallah, today we shall talk about some of the benefits of Sina and how to use it, inshallah. First of all, Sina was mentioned in an authentic hadith. The Sina is mentioned in, a, in an authentic hadith narrated by Ibn Majah that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "You should use Sina and Sanut as there is a cure in them from all kind of diseases except death." Mashallah. So let's use the Sina. The benefit of the Sina, some call it Sana. Number one is eating sihir, black magic in the stomach. So black magic in the stomach, somewhere, sometimes they give you food to eat or drinks to drink whereby, you know, the culprit has already put seer magic, you know, so that maybe to poison you, you know, spiritually so that you can be poisoned and die and or maybe to get sick, you know, they like to do that too. And also maybe to cast the fastest ways to cast a spell on you for controlling or whatsoever reason it is, you know, to destroy your life or to control you and all. So they give you this seer so that you can be able to drink it, so that you can drink it or ingest it. So, subhanAllah, they do that through like food or drink. Okay? So, one magician was saying like, the worst magic they do is like to take something from the cop, the dead person from the grave. Some they even dig the grave and, you know, take something from the dead person and they mix it with their seer and all and they give it to you to eat in a form of food or maybe drink and stuff. And then once they do that, then in three days time, your body will start to swell until you start to die, until you die. You will swell and be like having this bad inflammation. SubhanAllah, some people like their legs swells, you know, their heads, their stomach, and it's crazy. May Allah protect us from seer, I mean. So number one is eating seer, black magic in the stomach. Number two, jeans or jeans in the stomach. Number three, bloated stomach. Okay, number two, jeans in the stomach. Sometimes jeans like to reside in the stomach. I don't know why they like to do that. They love this place so much. Women have this kind of problem. Some they have gym, gin in the stomach. Or some they are stomach, they are tight. They have some knots there to kind of prevent them from getting pregnant. Sometimes some people, their stomach gets so hot, they feel movement in the stomach. You have like these gin snakes and all these things residing in the stomach. Many a times in my rookie, I do come across things like this. Number three, bloated stomach. If you have these two problems that I mentioned, you will have bloated stomach many a times. If there's anything negative, in your stomach whether it's gin whether it's seal whatsoever it is or you are given magic which you consume or sometimes even from the dream you may dream of eating food sometimes they will give you your favorite food in the dream to eat subhanallah that's why before going to bed make your athkar before going to bed before going to sleep make your athkar many of these attack comes when you are sleeping like that time you are like like a bit unconscious okay so bloated stomach, I'm not saying all bloated stomach are due to genes and all others are diseases, inflammation and all. Go to the doctors first, inshallah. Number four, dark energies in the stomach can also cause it. Number five, constipation. Number five, constipation, like the benefit of Sina can cure constipation and these things that I'm mentioning here. Number six is st uh, stool softener. Stool softener, if your stool gets very hard, inshallah, Sina will be very good for that. Number seven is indigestion. Number eight treats skin condition. You can drink Sina, it will help you with that. And cedar also is good. Take some cedar powder and mix it with shea butter or olive oil. Recite some verses, blow on it and apply it on your skin. It's also good for that, you know. So number nine is stomach complication. The, the treat uh, of the treat skin conditions, you have like psoriasis, eczema and all these things. Especially psoriasis. This is something like a condition, more like an inflammation, a bacterial, inf in, um, you know, like in, uh, infection in the stomach. So you don't just use cream to remove this. To remove this, you need to drink this medicine so that it will wash and cleanse your stomach and remove the diseases. This is what Sina does, mashallah. That's why many a times you find like almost 70% of the diseases are in the, like in the stomach. Why is it that when you have a headache, you are advised to drink pill? This pill kind of like goes to the stomach and then, then all of a sudden your head gets relief. That's why if the stomach is like having some infection and bacteria, 
the entire body, you know, go, you know, mehe, mehe. <clears throat> so number nine, stomach complication. If you have stomach complication, I will advise you to drink Sina. Number ten is poison consume. Drink Sina. It removes poison. Number eleven cleanses the cleanses the colon. Especially for those with colon cancer and all. It's very important you do drink Sina. Drink Sina regularly. Number twelve is irregular periods. Sina is good for that. Number thirteen is stomach cramps. Subhanallah, many women complain of that. It's very good for that too. Number fifteen, especially when they are seeing their period. Number fifteen is cleaning the stomach. Cleaning the stomach. You feel there is something in the stomach which is not right. Your stomach you can understand all the time. You're having stomach problems, stomach pains, stomach cramps and all. Try and drink Sina. How often should you? Should you drink every month? Every like three three times in a month or once a month or what? Just make sure you drink Sina whenever you feel like drinking it, inshallah. Number 16 is inflammation. Number 17 is bacteria in the stomach. Number 18 is removing piles, worms, which is very important. Sina is very good for that. Number 9 is hemorrhoid. Number 20 is burning fats in the body. It really works, especially if you add some some lemon you know it also is very good for that and you can add, add honey as well number 30, uh, 21 is helps in weight loss same that you can add some lemon number 22 is detoxification number 23 helps in the bowel cleansing number 24 relieves the body number 25 boosts the immune system number 26 it promotes respiratory health number 27 prevents bad breath because bad breath many times is a disease in the stomach so whatever it doesn't matter even you use colgate and stuff brush your teeth and whatsoever use mouth like washes and all still your stomach your your, your breath kind of like you know smell funny because this is like more of an infection a bacteria in the stomach number 28 gassy stomach making funny noises number 29 good for heartburn nausea gas and belching associated with this um, dyspepsia Number 30 helps in eradicating intestinal worms and other guts, gut para, para, parasites. Number 31, Sina helps to release excess salt, fats, toxics, and water from the body. Sina can often result in dehydration, so make sure you stay well hydrated. That's why I say when drinking the Sina, make sure you drink it with a, hot, with a lot of water. Number 32 is fibroid. Subhanallah, one of the worst nightmares for women, preventing them you know, from like, getting pregnant and all. Subhanallah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help. But inshallah drink Sina by the grace of Allah. If you are decreed, you know, to bear the fruit of the womb, you will Bismillah. Drink Sina. People have drink it and mashallah it helps them to conceive with the permission of Allah. Number thirty three. For those of the women who the shaitan is hiding in their stomach and putting dark energies in their stomach and trying to prevent them from getting pregnant, inshallah, if Allah decree with the, with this help inshallah if allah decree with his help by drinking the sina with the quranic water you can get pregnant inshallah because if you drink sina if you have having seed in the stomach it removes the seed in the stomach so whatever is stopping you from getting pregnant if that is due to the seed once the seed is gone bismillah you will get pregnant inshallah now we talk about how to use the sina powder how to use the sina powder take one and a half or two tablespoons so you take one and a half or you take two tablespoons for adults okay they say the sina powder take the two tablespoons of sina powder and put it in a cup dilute it with hot water a quranized water water preferred so that the water can have the effect of the quran when we say quranized water what we mean is you take a water and then recite some rukia like chronic verses and blow on the water you gently blow on the water like you know so that the water can have the effect of the Quran that's what we call Quranized water some people get confused like Quran water what do you mean by chronic water is there anything like that how do I make chronic water it means when you take a water and you just recite Rukia like verses of the Quran and blow on it you know yeah so someone may ask what verses should I use and all these things first of all okay the verses that you can use is number one you can use Fatiha we know Fatiha is one of the best verses when it comes to Ruqya. Use Fatiha. How many times should you recite it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, Faqra Ummati yesterday in the Quran. Read what's easy for you from the Quran. You want to read it seven times or eleven times or three times or once. In fact, read in odd numbers because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the odd numbers. So read it in odd numbers, inshallah. 
and you can read the three cools kul wala ahad falik and nas you can also add the other cool which is kulli awal kafirun also you can read ayatul kursi and amana rasulu if you cannot read any of this one just read what's easy for you inshallah you want to add also the verse in Surah Taha Yunus Araf talking about magic Qalu ya Musa ima an tuluqiya and wa qala fir'aun utuni bi kulli sahirin alim and wa awhayna ila Musa an alqi asma if you want to add wa qaddimna ila ma amilu min amalin fajalna wa haba man thura you can also add that there are a lot of verses mashallah if you are familiar with Rukia verses when we say Rukia we mean in Quran okay you can read Rukia consists of authentic duas and Quranic verses so inshallah you can dilute after reciting on the water you want to if you want after the mixture you can recite or you take the water already and recite and warm this water by after taking your two tablespoon of sina powder if it is sina leaves you take one handful can be enough inshallah but we'll come to that so then you take this hot water and dilute it with the sina powder and mix it and then you drink it bismillah so quranized water it is a water in which you recite and blow the quran upon or normal water at least full cup consume early in the morning before you consume anything let it be the first thing you take after drinking it wait for at least one hour before taking your breakfast so inshallah like i used to say consuming sina early in the morning when you wake up before eating or drinking anything the sina is going to be the first thing that you are going to use that you are going to consume so you take your two tablespoons you know and put in the cup and take like your rukia water which you have recited upon warm it and then put it in the water and mix it and with all with a lot of water you drink sina with a lot of water okay then you drink it early in the morning then after inshallah you can take your breakfast after maybe 45 minutes or one hour or two hours is depending inshallah you can have your breakfast inshallah but if you consume sina don't go outside that ha that's why you drink sina when the when you are like off from work like during weekends or if you are someone who is like not going anywhere, less busy, you use it. But don't drink sina and go out. It's going to cause dysentery or diarrhea. Seriously. So drink it when you are like indoor or a place whereby it's okay for you. And there's, you know, bathroom and or toilet. Yeah. Another period of consuming the sina can be before bedtime. It normally causes bowel movement within 6, 8 or 12 hours depending on digestion. So it may be taken at bedtime to produce a bowel movement the next day. Yeah, you can do that. But if you're going to also be busy and in the morning, that's why I tell people use it in the morning, you know, like the first thing, like during weekends, maybe when you are free. For those who are like at home, maybe you are not that very busy. You can use it for three consecutive days. You drink today, the next day, and the day you know after. So you can do it like that. If you are someone who goes for work, you already you are you are you are only like free during weekend, like Saturday, Sunday. Then you can drink it Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, and you know if you are in Bangladesh, like their their weekend is, is start from Friday and Saturday. That's it, right? Sunday is like Monday in other, any other place people resume back to work okay for those having black magic eating for those having black magic eating can consume for at least three consecutive days in a row or more to remove black magic in the stomach or to continue drinking until they don't feel anything in the stomach the black magic is like a like a glue stick on the intestine or gut so the colonized water with sina will attack the black magic and scrape it out from the intestine gut from the intestine or gut and the pain shall fade away until you wouldn't feel anything and also the diarrhea on your stomach also stop inshallah meaning like the more you use it the more the pain kind of fade and diminish and the more you drink it the more it scrape and remove the magic you know in your stomach so magic have been in the stomach for many many years so inshallah every week maybe at least do three times if you're someone who goes for work, like drink it during weekend every week until you no longer feel anything in the stomach and inshallah once your stomach is cleansed you will realize that after taking sina you the, your stomach don't feel that often like you don't feel that agitated or maybe that of a much diarrhea and all it becomes normalized as day goes by how to use the sina leaves boil it with normal water or colonized water which is to be drunk on an empty stomach and then to wait for at least an hour before consuming breakfast regarding the quantity of the sina leaves just take what shall be enough for you or a bit of a handful inshallah warning do not take sina for more than one week warning like this is like people who are taking it consecutively it's gonna like like 
disturb upset your bowel system even a drinking water can start to cause diarrhea so you need your stomach to kind of heal you know get back so it's solid form you know whatsoever you understand so warning do not take sina for more than one week warning do not go anywhere after consuming the sina pause it will run your stomach for many of you so do not be far from the toilet for those having to go to work can wait until weekends to consume even if it is going to be for two days or once a week there is no problem for that kids who suffers constipation should be given little amount like one teaspoon mixed with hot water or colonized water no problem they can even mix it with honey and milk as well no problem for those who want to reduce stomach fat or big belly or to burn fat or reduce weight can take one tablespoon of cinnamon powder with hot water mixed with one or two lemon squeezed into the cup and two to three tablespoons full of honey to be taken in the morning on an empty stomach so you can do this for like it depended just like two days three days or every week you know warning pregnant or nursing and lactating women are advised to avoid consuming sina tea as it directly affects the gut do not take sina for more than one week warning it has blood tiny qualities some of the things you might notice it's notice after consuming the sina nausea vomiting diarrhea dehydration abdominal cramps muscle weakness excess urination excess urination for any question, feel free to ask on the comment section below. May Allah the Almighty grant Shifa cure to all those who are afflicted. Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen. Brother Muhammad, Rukia for all. And this is live from Bangladesh, Dhaka, South Badda. Let me show you around a bit. MashaAllah, this is a pond. A fish pond. Hello fish, how are you? Hello. <laughs> That's more of a bonus, you know. Nice. It's dark right now. Wow, look at the little New York. Not even little New York. Yeah, New York somehow. It's kind of look like a New York, you know, in South Asia. Very nice infrastructure. They're really developing their countries. May Allah bless every one of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.